only working fusion power plants right now in, in the universe are, are stars. This isn't science fiction. And no, we're not talking about reactors the size of stadiums powering cities sometime in the distant future. This is nuclear fusion right now doing something far more unexpected. Imagine a machine small enough to fit in a room, quietly producing something that could save lives. It's not about electricity, it's about medicine. And a breakthrough few people are discussing is already reshaping how hospitals could treat cancer, Alzheimer's, and more. The future of fusion might not be about lights turning on, but lives being saved. Today, and it all starts with rethinking what fusion is really for. Fusion's image versus reality. When most people hear nuclear fusion, they picture massive, futuristic reactors locked in a decades-long race to replace fossil fuels. It's become almost a running joke. Fusion is always 30 years away. The promise is seductive. Unlimited clean energy, no greenhouse gases, and none of the long-lived radioactive waste from fission. But while scientists and engineers chase that dream, something surprising has happened. Fusion isn't just a power problem anymore. It's becoming a precision tool. Over the past few years, a quiet shift has begun in the way researchers approach fusion. Instead of building bigger machines to crack the energy code, some have asked a different question. What else can fusion do? Turns out, a lot, especially in places where size, speed, and precision matter more than sheer power. This change in thinking is unlocking real-world benefits, not in massive grid infrastructure, but in hospitals and research labs. Rather than trying to power a city, new fusion systems aim to power a single treatment, diagnosis, and life saved. So while the world waits for megaprojects like ITER to light up, a new class of compact fusion devices is already showing promise. These machines aren't making headlines for their kilowatts. They're doing something more subtle and perhaps more immediate. To understand how, we need to step back and demystify what fusion is. And more importantly, how it can work outside the energy race. How Fusion Works At its heart, fusion is about forcing atoms to do something they naturally resist, come together. Specifically, we're talking about the cores of atoms, called nuclei. Most of the time, they repel each other. Why? Because they're positively charged, and just like magnets, similar charges push away from one another. This repulsion is known as the Coulomb force. But here's the trick. If you can smash those nuclei with enough speed, they'll overcome that barrier. When that happens, they fuse into a new element and release a burst of energy in the process. It's the same process that powers our sun. Fusion has always been the holy grail of clean energy because of its efficiency. It produces no carbon emissions, very little radioactive waste, and relies on fuel sources like deuterium, which can be extracted from seawater. The challenge, though, is getting it to happen on Earth in a controlled, efficient way. Think of it like trying to roll a heavy boulder up a steep hill. You need a lot of energy just to get the thing moving. But if you can reach the top, gravity takes over, and the boulder flies down the other side. That downhill rush is your energy payoff. Different fusion methods approach this challenge in different ways. Some use magnetic fields, others use lasers or electric fields, but they all aim to push atoms up that hill efficiently without burning more energy than they create. And now, one hybrid approach may have cracked part of the code. The medical isotope crisis. While most of the world sees fusion as a clean energy solution, there's another urgent frontier where it's beginning to shine, medicine. Specifically, the production of medical isotopes, the radioactive materials used to diagnose and treat diseases like cancer, Alzheimer's, and thyroid disorders. These isotopes are vital. One of the most common, technetium 99 m is used in roughly 80% of all nuclear medicine procedures. But here's the catch. Many of these isotopes have incredibly short half-lives, sometimes only hours. That means they must be produced close to where they'll be used or decay before they ever reach a patient. Traditionally, isotopes are created using massive particle accelerators or even nuclear reactors. These facilities are expensive, power-hungry, and few. 
Globally, there are just over 1,300 cyclotrons used for this purpose. That's a small number when considering the billions of people relying on modern medicine. And when a machine goes down or a region lacks access, patients are left waiting. Delays in diagnosis, missed treatment windows, lives at risk. This growing crisis has researchers and clinicians searching for alternatives. Smaller, faster, more localized methods to produce these life-saving isotopes on demand. And that's where a new kind of nuclear fusion, compact, low power and focused, enters the story. It doesn't aim to power the world, it aims to save it, one dose at a time. Multi-state fusion, the game changer. Enter multi-state fusion, a breakthrough approach that's rewriting what we thought fusion was capable of. Developed by the team at Astral Systems, it combines two fusion techniques that, on their own, have shown promise. Inertial electrostatic confinement, IEC, and lattice confinement fusion, LCF. Think of IEC as a way to get particles moving fast. It uses electric fields to accelerate ions until they collide and fuse. It's like giving those atoms a running start up the hill. LCF, on the other hand, tackles the problem from another angle. It uses dense metal lattices to pack atoms together tightly, making it easier for them to overcome their natural repulsion. That's like lowering the hill itself. But what if you did both at the same time? That's exactly what Astral's multi-state fusion does. Generating fusion in plasma and solid metal simultaneously dramatically boosts efficiency without increasing power input. It's not just about using less energy, it's about using it smarter. Think of it as lighting two fuses with one spark. The result? More fusion reactions. More usable outputs like neutrons. And most importantly, a fusion device that's small, efficient, and practical for real-world applications. And this isn't just theory. It's already happening. Astral has test devices up and running, including 3D printed cathodes and new reactor designs. They're actively measuring neutron output, improving designs, and achieving performance leaps that older IEC devices couldn't touch. It's not a reactor meant to power cities. It's a precision tool that could live in hospitals, research labs, and production centers, quietly producing the isotopes and materials we desperately need. The tiny reactor with huge potential. Forget skyscraper-sized reactors and billion-dollar construction sites. Astral's fusion system looks more like a high-tech appliance than a power plant. It fits on a table, it plugs into a wall, and yet inside, it does what once required entire buildings to achieve. It creates fusion. This compact design isn't just convenient, it's transformative. Traditional particle accelerators can cost tens of millions and require hours of warm-up time. They're complex, power-hungry, and limited to major hospitals or research hubs. Astral's system? It uses just a few kilowatts of power, starts in minutes, and runs on demand. The components are modular. Many are adapted from existing IEC designs already used in the industry. That means lower costs, faster production, and easier deployment. And crucially, it means isotope production could finally move closer to the point of care. Astral's device isn't just small, it's smart. Software controls everything from energy input to plasma monitoring. With minimal cooling requirements and a compact footprint, it could be installed in regional hospitals or clinics currently cut off from real-time isotope access. It's a shift from centralized production to localized treatment, from specialized megastructures to portable precision tools. That opens the door to a future where advanced diagnostics and therapies aren't bound by geography, but delivered where and when they're needed most. Impact on healthcare access. The implications for healthcare are enormous. Right now, access to critical diagnostic tools like PET scans or radiotherapies depends on proximity to a production facility. If your hospital isn't near a cyclotron or reactor, chances are you're waiting longer or going without. Astral's compact fusion reactor changes that. Enabling on-site or near-site isotope production allows hospitals to generate life-saving materials in real time. That means more patients can be diagnosed earlier, 
treatments can begin faster. Rare isotopes previously too unstable to transport have become accessible even in remote regions. This is especially vital for fast-expanding isotopes like lutetium-177, now approved for treating over 20 cancers. Demand is expected to surge in the next decade. Astral's team is already working on producing it in research quantities, proving that this isn't a future concept. It's happening now. Fusion isn't just a physics problem anymore. It's a public health opportunity. By miniaturizing the technology and multiplying its reach, we could look at a new standard of care, where access isn't determined by location, but by need. Not all revolutions come with flashing lights or massive headlines. Some start quietly in labs, test chambers, and the glow of a stable plasma. What Astral Systems is doing may not power your home tomorrow, but it might save your life. By reimagining fusion as a tool for medicine, not just energy, they've opened a new chapter that's already being written. And while this technology may one day support space missions or larger reactors, its greatest strength may lie in its simplicity. Sometimes the real power of fusion isn't in megawatts, it's in moments that change lives forever.